morning, good morning, and good morning, guys. Listen, I'm back on my porch again this morning. I heard you guys yesterday about my Monday morning motivation, so I decided to do another one this morning for you guys again. Um, before we get into that, again, let's take care of the business. If you want to join my crew, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I turn on that notification button so you get the notifications every time I post new videos. And make sure you hit all when you do the notifications. Uh, like this video and comment below. Um, so, guys, this morning, I, I'm really feeling good this morning um, because I realized that God is protecting me right now, guys. There's a lot of things that are going on right now, and all I can say is God blocked it. And I'm going to tell you guys, that block button on those social media pages will work you wonders. It will block you from toxic and nasty people from contacting you and just doing crazy things. So... The message for this morning is block that person. You just snatched it off on camera like I showed it. And don't give a and don't. And I'm putting this shit right back on. Oh. Um, but let's get into the song for this morning. Um, so again, I was telling you guys about Faith Evans, and I still haven't got around to everything because there's so much stuff going on right now um, that I just don't want to talk about. But um, and so I woke up this morning and I was listening to the RB Divas album and I was listening to Loving Me. And I'm going to tell you guys why that's important to me. Um, there's, there was a time I just didn't, you know. And um, when, I t when I do my, my letter to my younger self, you guys, it'll all make sense. But have you ever just been in that space where you just like, you couldn't get with who you were. You were trying to figure things out. Um, nothing just seemed like it was going right. And... You just were doing things to please everyone else and you weren't doing anything for yourself. And you just couldn't really, what are the words I'm looking for? You didn't take the time out for you, right? So it was, it was really about pleasing everybody else. Um, and there was a time, matter of fact, this, this is this album, I'm telling you guys, this is why I love Faith Evans. Um, but the song, so the words of the song, I'm not gonna read all the lyrics to the, to the song, uh, but the song starts off, it says, it's been a long time since I looked in the mirror, and no, 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 no. It, yeah, oh yes, it's been a long time since I looked in the mirror, and like what I see, um, then it says, it was a hard climb, but things are much clearer in my reality and how people see me. And as you guys know, um, when I made my first post, I was telling you guys, I was like, it's so crazy that you guys actually see me as an individual. And you saw, you guys see my heart and you see the love and the light that I just, that I have on me. Right. So, you know, this is if, if, even in now, this is still making sense for me. Uh, it says, uh, always feeling the shame because of what I was told. Now I'm taking it ugly and made it beautiful. And you guys, uh, you can even take it from the situation that I got, just got out of. Um, but I want to get, I want, before I go to the, uh, the course of this, I want to say, you know, this has been a lifelong thing for me, you know. Um, there's just been so many things from, you know, me coming out and losing all my friends and um, me working in, in this industry, trying to find my place and making away from myself you know and so everything that turned that was not good always turns into good for me everything that was bad turns into good to, for me and so this is why i never ever have i've learned about having faith um and that's I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys this story too today so on my arm i have this tattoo if you can see it but it says now faith now faith um and I got that tattoo because it's been my life. Like, I've had to have now faith. I didn't have to just have faith. But I had to have that faith, like, right now. I don't, God, I just know you're going to do it. And I got to let it go because I know that he's going to take care of whatever it is, right? Um, just to give some examples, um, when I was in school for, what, uh, for my broadcasting uh, program that I was in, in the middle of the class, at the middle of the semester, my financial aid fell through, and I was panicking because I love that program. I used to literally, my class was at nine o'clock in the morning. I would literally sit in that class. I quit my job and everything, 
And let's rewind the story real quick. So the reason why I really got even gotten into broadcasting was because I used to have a bunch of call center jobs, right? And so this even gives you another example of the now fate. So I had a bunch of call center jobs. And every time I would answer the phone, people would be like, oh, my God, have you ever thought about being on the radio? And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, and mind you, me and my sister, we used to always play around when we were kids and make little radio shows or whatever. Um, but I never, like, took it serious or anything like that. But people love my voice. And so I just kept hearing it and kept hearing it and kept hearing it. And one day I was driving my mom's car. Um, I don't remember where I was going, but the commercial for the school came on. And I'm like, man, this must be God. Because I had just heard someone say this literally after I had, um, I think I had left work that day or something. But I'm like, man, this is God. So I called the number and I was actually by the school. And so I stopped by the school. They took me on, on a tour of the school. The lady spoke to me. She was like, man, you have an amazing voice. And I was like, thank you. I was like, that's actually kind of why, you know, I stopped by here. I was like, because I heard the commercial. I called, you know, I went to see what the program was about or whatever. Um, and so I ended up enrolling into the program. And, you know, I got into the program. I was actually the um, first class out of that, out of that program. So... I get in the program, things are going great, you know, I'm learning everything because they were teaching us, but I'm a person where I have to do things. I can't, um, like, read about it. I have to actually, like, touch it and play with it, and, you know, I have to do those things in order for me to learn things. So that's why I would be there from 9 o'clock in the morning to, like, 9 o'clock at night. I think, it's, I think they closed at 9 o'clock at night. Um, so I literally, I live there. And so in the middle of that, like, I used to make all kind of different radio shows, me and this guy that I was going to school with at the time. We would make like little radio shows and um, some of those shows are on now. I actually went back and listened to some of those yesterday. And I'm like, I can't believe I was saying this stuff back then. But um, so in the middle of the of the semester, they called me into the office and she was like, hey, uh, we weren't able to approve your financial aid for the second semester. And immediately I got depressed. I was like, man, I worked so hard to be in this program and you know now you guys are telling me I can't I'm not gonna be able to come back and so I'm getting depressed and I'm thinking like I don't, I don't know what to do like I, I cried and I literally I I, I didn't want to talk to anybody about it because I, I have talked about this program so much and how much this program meant to me and what I was gonna do after I got out of this program and all these things and so I literally I went home that night and I prayed and I was like, man, I don't know what to do. And at this time, I really hadn't had the now faith mentality. And so I'm thinking doom and gloom, it's disaster. <laughs> um, I don't, I didn't, I just didn't know what to do. I was so depressed. And so I remember like going back to the, waking up the next day, even thinking about even, should I go back to the, to the school because I can't finish the program. Um, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to just go back and I'm going to just learn whatever I can before the semester's over, this semester's over with. And then if I can't come back to the program, I'll just take what I got and I'm going to just ride off of that. I mean, I have the experience. Um, you know, I know how to use the soundboards. I know how to do the video editing. You know, I was like one of the top people in my class. Actually, when I graduated from that school, I was the class MVP. I had the 4.0 and, um, all of my projects, they were like actually showing my projects to like the incoming students and everything. They actually hired me on as a as an instructor after I left there. That's how dope I was. So I walked into the school the next day and the uh, financial aid lady walk, walked up to me. She said, come here, come here, come here. And I'm like, oh, she wanted to tell me I can't be here. <laughs> and I immediately started crying. And uh, she was like, what's wrong? She's like, what's wrong? And I was like, I just don't want to give up on this. You know, this is something I really want to do. I work so hard. I quit my job to come here, you know. And that was another thing. I had quit my job once I started that program because I, I just knew this was for me. Um, and she was like, well, I have some news for you. And I'm like, mm, what is it? I gave it to Duffy. Uh, she was like, well, we found um, a scholarship for you. Well, no. yes, bitch. And I really started crying then because I was like, oh, I got to be able to finish this because the other schools that I went to, I never was able to finish because of financial aid issues and things like this. I just wasn't 
tough, you know, financial uh, responsibilities. And, you know, I, sh I didn't know I, sh I would be working while I was in school to start helping pay on some of this stuff. So I just didn't, I was just going to school and enjoying it and doing my best that I could because in, in grade school, I didn't have really good grades. But in college, I was really thriving. It was like, because I knew I was actually working towards something. In grade school, I just felt like I was there because I had to be there. I chose to go to school, you know what I mean? Um, so I just started crying because I just couldn't believe that God had really worked that out for me. And so it was after that that I realized that, you know, faith was something that was very important to me. And um, me and my ex, when we got together, we ended up going to, actually he preached a sermon one time about now faith. And when he started, uh, when he started talking about it, I was like, man, this is me. And um, so I started looking it up or whatever. And um, let me see if I can find it on Google. Oh, yeah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's Hebrews 11, 1. Um, so make sure you guys look that up. But that's why I have this tattoo on my arm. Um, and then faith evidence ties into this a lot. And again, I, I will explain all this to you guys later on. But um, because of that story goes even farther into the reason why I love faith and faith evidence. And, you know, she has a song called There's Something About Faith. So I'm going to get into all that stuff. <laughs> soon but all right so let me get back into this song so the chorus says i found me a place where i ain't doing nothing but loving myself and everything about me i found me a place where it don't even matter what nobody else because i'm loving me man you almost got me <laughs> but it took me a long time to get to that place because I always just thought I was not good enough, like for anything. I was in when I was in grade school, we had this program called something. I can't remember the name. I didn't even try to figure out remember what it's called. Um, but it was like you had to choose whether you're going to be in the business program or the technology program. And I chose the business program because I just kind of love love the ins and outs of business. And my grandfather and my grandmother kind of had business. Uh, well, they didn't kind of have business. They did have business. They used, to, they used to paint like ceramics and make jewelry and things like that. So I've always been a creative person. Um, so I took that class because at that time, my mom had just, we had a computer. I think we had a computer like when I was in middle school. But color printers were just like a new thing at that time. And so I used to make um, like, cards for like the girls I liked at school and <laughs> for Valentine's Day or just for my friends like just if they were having like a bad week or something I remember one of my friends her mom died and I made her like a, a car like a special car that I personally made um and so I knew that this was something that I could do I, I wanted to get into marketing um so the, they had the program or whatever and before the they just had the program like I think it was after school or something but during school we were taking a class and we had to make a brochure. I'll never forget this. And the brochure was for Nike. And so everybody in the class was making their brochures or whatever. And I asked my teacher, I was like, well, can I make mine at home? Because I want to do something, you know, I want to take it a little step above. He was like, sure, whatever. It doesn't really matter. He was like, it's not due until tomorrow. So <clears throat> I took the project home um, and I pulled up all the pictures off of Google, the Nikes that I liked and everything. And I made this really dope brochure and I made it in color. And so the next day, everybody was presenting their, their um, brochures, but there was this in black and white. Mine's, I'm, I will never forget, there was a pair of uh, red and blue uh, Nike, it was something Max or something like that. Air Maxes, yeah. It was on there. It was laid out so nice. It was professional. It looked great. And so I got an A on it, of course. But then the guy asked me, can he take my my presentation to that business uh, program? Oh, it was the Bank One Academy. That's what it was. Um, he asked them, could he take my project and present it? At, I'm like, well, why would you take my, pro my, my project to a program that I can't even be a part of? But I let him take it because, I mean, I was hoping, like, maybe they'll see it and want to pick me to put me in a program because I can do, you know, I, I got the skills for the program. I just don't have the grades for it. Um, but that never happened. But that's why, that's why a lot of, I never, and I always tell that story, so that must have really hurt me. Um, but so when I talk about this stuff, like I, I've always felt like that. Like even when it comes to the broadcasting things, like I've always wanted to be behind the scenes because I feel like as soon as I get in front of it, intimidation comes in, um, 
when I start talking on the radio or anything like that, you know, intimidation comes in because I'm a perfectionist. Like all my stuff has to look on point. It has to sound great. I go back and I listen to everything that I do. And if it don't sound right, I'm going to redo it because I need it to, to, to sound a certain type of way. So, um, so anyway, this situation that we just all went through, it just, it, it gives me, it gives me those vibes again. And I hate being there because I see this in other people. Like when you hear the people that were watching, like it just feels like, you know, they were there for a reason. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you're about that, but this morning's message is love yourself, please. Oh, and at the end of the, at the end of the song, um, Kiki White, and you guys have to listen to this song at the end of the song. Kiki Wyatt says, I made up my mind. I won't stop. Yeah, at the end of the song, Kiki Wyatt says, I won't stop ever. And when she she holds this note. But when I tell y'all, when I heard this song for the first time, this was like, God is just blessing me with his angels. Like, do not stop. Don't stop. I got you. We're going to do this. And it may take time. You may not be able to get there when you want to. But it's all about learning yourself. You have to love you first so that you can give out to other people what God has to give out to other people through you. And so, dang, I just now. That was God, y'all. That was God. You, you got to love yourself in order to give out yourself to other people. So that I can give me to you to them through you. You gotta love yourself first so that you can give them what I gave you to give to them through you. Wow. Wow. I probably just jumped that up, so I'm going to try to do it over time, though. I just heard I just heard God say, you got to love yourself in order for you to give me through you to them. Because God is love. God lives in your heart. And if you don't love you, how can you give him to anybody else through you? Yo, that is so freaking powerful. Y'all, I got to sit at home and ponder on this whole situation right now. <laughs> but I, my, the message for today is do not stop. Love yourself. And if you don't love you, if you don't feel like, if you don't feel at it, at it, be honest with yourself. Rate yourself from a scale from 1 to 10 every day. On, on today's day, I'm feeling at a 10 right now. Because guess what? There are so many things that are trying to come against me right now, but God blocked it. Because I love myself to block certain things off of my social media. They can't get to me. So love yourself. Do not stop. And at the end of the song, they say, why do I keep forgetting the lyrics of this song? It's so much is going on right now. Sorry. They say, let me see you put your hands in the air if you love yourself. So I'm going to ask you guys in the comment section, I need you all to put the hands up emoji if you love yourself. And if you don't, be honest. And also rate yourself this morning at a, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much are you loving yourself this morning? And if you don't, or you're not at a 10, or at least a 5 and above, what are you going to do to change that? I love you guys, and I will try to do these every day, especially if I'm getting something in the morning time. I'm going to try to do these every morning. But I want you guys to put in the comment section, hands up if you love yourself. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much are you loving yourself? And if you are under, if you're on a 4 or below, what are you going to do to change that? Listen, guys. I'm ending this video because I got to go edit it because the morning time I'm about to be over with. But if you're just not getting here at the end of this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, comment below, like the video, and I will see you guys in another video.